Welcome everybody. I'm glad to have with me today Joey Barrett. Where he's the area manager for Georgia Power, and uh, you're relatively new to this role. But how long have you been with Georgia Power, Joey? Uh, James, this is my 18th year with with the company. Uh, I've held several different positions in different uh, areas of the business, uh, but in the area manager role, this is my eighth year. What made you uh, want to go to work with Georgia Power? Um, I was a small business owner prior to coming to Georgia Power, and uh, I always knew and heard of the great benefits that's offered with the company. And as a small business owner, uh, uh, had two new children on the way, and I knew that you know insurance and you know retirement would be a good good investment in their future as well as mine. So. That's really what drew me to Georgia Power was, was the great benefits. Let me ask you, uh, based on the last week, we've had a lot of lightning. You know, we went like a month with no rain, no measurable rainfall anyway, but uh, we've had a lot of rain. Thank you, Lord, for that. Um, but with storms comes thunder and then comes lightning. I know yesterday evening, man, it was, it was tough. We have uh, last weekend had a family struck by lightning in their home, destroyed their home. Uh, those things I know happen, but how can we protect our appliances in our house when we have lightning? Oh, absolutely. Uh, lightning claims many appliances a year uh, throughout the United States, but as you say, specifically here in Georgia, uh, your electronics are uh, more likely to be impacted uh, than other things in the home. Uh, always use a surge protector. Uh, Appliances, uh, you know, on a surge protector stand a much better chance of surviving a, a lightning strike with that in place. Well, and what I've found out, uh, you know, it's okay to look for a good price. I'm, I'm frugal myself, but that's one area, Joe, we don't need to be frugal on. We need to buy a, a, a not the cheapest surge protector. We need to buy a good quality one with, uh, I guess, a good URL rating. Is that what it is? It, it is. And then keep in mind, uh, the the more you spend on the surge protector, the better warranty that usually comes along with that. So when it's, it's you know, as much as different appliances and electronics cost nowadays, uh, that's definitely not a place you want to be frugal uh, because if you can ensure what you're, you know, plugging that into, I mean, that, that's, that's kind of a uh, money well spent in my book, James. Yeah, amen. Uh, you know, this day and time, uh, it don't matter what service we're on, we have a lot of EMCs, Georgia Power in the city, but... Uh, power bills have gone up, you know. They have. We were talking off camera a while ago. Your power bill, my power bill, we're not exempt from that. But, uh, and there's a lot of payment options. Break down, uh, maybe some people don't know, uh, they get that big power bill every week, every month, and struggle to pay it. But, you know, what kind of things does Georgia Power do to help the customer? Okay, yeah, James. Uh, we have several great options, uh, especially for our residential customers. We offer three main types of uh, uh, payment situations, one being flat bill, which uh, is just a bill that is determined based on the previous 12 months and takes an average of those 12 months and then you, you lock in that price and that's what you'll pay for 12 months on the flat bill program. We also offer budget billing, which is similar. Uh, the only difference is it does fluctuate so if, if you have a real low amount of usage one month, then that'll be, that'll be reflected in your next month's bill because it will take into consideration the less energy that was used the month before. And then we also offer a prepay option, which our customers find um, very co convenient. I mean, you pay as you go, basically. So, you know, if, and, you know as tight as money is for... Uh, Many Georgians nowadays, that, that's a great option. You, you, know, you, you know how much you're going to spend on uh, electric service because you paid uh, beforehand on it. So those are three great options for our residential customers. What about 
senior citizens, once I became one, I'm look, I look at all the little discounts we can get along the way, the restaurant or whatever, but what about senior citizens? Do you do anything, uh, their own fixed incomes, they've worked their whole life, uh, and, and they're trying to manage their money. Are we trying to manage our money? Uh, is there anything special for senior citizens? Well, yes, James, we've expanded our senior citizen discount uh, to add in a income uh, based uh, angle to it. So not only will senior citizens receive that uh, you know discount that we've raised, I, I think it's, it's in the $30 range mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, James, and then also, we've expanded it to include in anyone, you know, regardless of age, that is receiving uh, Social Security disability benefits. As wow, well. that's good. That's that adds up. You figure that amount times twelve months. Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, that's that's uh, that's quite a savings you could use for something else. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back right after this. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs. We're a full service bank, big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Well, trucking is a seven days a week, 24 hours a day operation. So there's a tremendous need for, for the logistics field, for drivers and mechanics to work on. Fred uh, had a desire to be a mechanic. We encouraged him to uh, seek some additional training that offered through OFTC, which he did. What he learned at OFTC has just taken his, his uh, job and his performance to another level. Welcome back, everybody. Continuing my conversation with Joy Barrett. He's the area manager for Georgia Power. If you're just joining us, we will air this again, or you can go to our YouTube channel. Just type in The Bar TV 35. You can pull this program up as well as uh, all of our programming, so you can watch it uh, whenever you want to watch it. But um, uh, we've been talking about a lot uh, to do, um, uh, and I cover storms when they come through. Uh, and... I was at a wreck several years ago. I was the first on the, well, there was two young kids there. Their friend had hit a, a, a power line, a power pole. The pole had just fell over uh, on top of the car. Uh, and they were running to the car, going to try to get her out. And I hollered at them as I'm getting out of my car, stop, get back, don't, because I'm looking, they're not thinking. And I get that. You know, it's, you're running on adrenaline. It's your friend that's been in this bad wreck. Uh, and we see that during power, uh, during storms. Power, the lines fall, power uh, poles are clipped. Uh, talk about that, what we need to do, or I guess in other words, what we don't need to do. Okay. Yeah, uh, and as you mentioned, now is, now is the time for the afternoon thunderstorms that do wreak havoc on our system from time to time. Uh, anytime you see a downed power line, whether you know it's in, in fact a power line, it could be, you know, cable TV, phone line, any anything like that. It's always best to just don't go near it. Just steer clear of it. Uh, call 911. Uh, they they have a direct line to Georgia Power, and we can send somebody over there. Uh, but treat every <coughs> down line like like it is live. Yeah, amen. Uh, we've got a big announcement tomorrow in uh, Lawrence County, uh, University of Georgia be here, but, and uh, people don't realize uh, Georgia Power is in on these deals at an early, at an early stage. So tell me how Georgia Power is uh, helping to create a stronger economic future in Georgia. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we, we give millions back to our communities uh, on a yearly basis. And our thought process is the bigger, the better the community, the more we all thrive. You know, our customers, you know, want a good neighborhood or community to live in. And that, that is at, at our, that's, that's a, something we really pride ourselves in is our ability to be involved in, in those kind of things that drive Georgia forward. Uh. I've been sitting here thinking what you said a while ago. You were a small business owner. Uh, I was. Went to work for Georgia Power. Benefits are, are incredible. 
Uh, and with those things said, if somebody's watching right now and they, uh, they possibly would uh, consider a career at Georgia Power, the Southern companies, uh, what would you say to them? And, and not only that, how could they go about applying? Okay. Yeah. I mean, we, we're always on, on the lookout for a great talent and, you know, you know, we we can only do so much outreach, uh, job fairs, that kind of thing, and you know, it's a very simple process. Uh, you go to GeorgiaPower.com/careers, and you first start by building your profile. Just enter your basic information, resume if you have it, and it then goes into our system, and uh, our system will match you with a job that. Um, that will most likely be in your in your path to success and you will receive emails uh, when those jobs come available and it will open it up and you just apply for these jobs and we have them statewide constantly how much more simple uh, it was pr <laughs> pretty pretty simple I, I know even when i done it uh, 18 years ago i felt it simple then and i'm hearing it's feel just as easy now. Yeah, good. And you, and like I said, you're looking for good talent. You know, uh, Georgia Power's called Georgia home for 130 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I, as I watch through the years, uh, as we've done these shows, uh, Georgia Power continues to uh, make our communities better. Why, why is that important? It, it's just better for uh, the overall health of Georgia. Um, Everyone wants great communities to live, work, play. And at Georgia Power, we feel that, you know, that is paramount for, you know, uh, everyone to feel successful in life. And so anything we can give back to help, you know, better a community, that helps in the growth of Georgia. I've been wanting to add, I've been looking at prices, but, uh, the uh, the new thermostats you can control with Wi-Fi. You know, if uh, we were at the mountains recently, coming back home, get to Macon, be able to flip on there and mm -hmm. cut your air down a little bit so your house is cool when you get there. Uh, does Georgia Power uh, help with those? And if so or not, what do you think about those this day and time? Oh, excellent idea. Uh, to be able to control uh, your heating and cooling, which is by far the largest uh, energy user in the home. To be able to control that uh, from alternate locations uh, can help you save energy. You know, if oftentimes we'll go on vacation and, uh, you know, get down the road a piece and remember, oh, I, I, <laughs> I didn't turn the thermostat up. And, you know, to have the capability of just Pulling that up on on Wi-Fi very easily and fixing that, I mean, there's there's all kinds of opportunities for energy savings in that manner. And what we do offer, James, at uh, Georgia Power uh, Marketplace, very discounted rates on those those type of thermostats. Good. Well, that was worth asking the question for. Uh, you do make it simple. You know, all over Lawrence County and the country. Uh, we see these solar farms pop up. I know uh, they're looking at one on the east side of the river right now, a piece of property to put a solar farm. What is the future of solar power? I think, James, the sky's the limit at this point. Uh, clearly the most important part of solar being uh, effective is a way to store the energy that's produced through the panels. So I think great strides have been made uh, so far on battery storage. I know at Georgia Power uh, we have several pilot programs that we're looking into as a, you know, a viable way of storing that energy. So I think as long as we continue to make improvements in the storage sector, I think, I think the sky's the limit with solar. And y'all, uh, like we said a while ago, you're continuing to, to, to change and to learn just like we are through life. And uh, it's been in the news a lot down at Plant Vogel. Um, I know units three and four uh, is online mm -hmm. and is bringing affordable energy to, to those of us in Georgia. So, uh, so tell us, what can we expect from uh, Plant Vogel? Okay, well, uh, 
I'll sum it up uh, pretty easy, James. I mean, when you think of it on, you know, the scale, you know, a U.S. scale, Vogel is now the largest producer of clean energy in the United States. That's something each of us Georgians can take pride in. And basically what we have with Vogel 3 and 4 coming online is 60 to 80 years of uh, clean, reliable energy uh, that we can count on for decades to come. Um, what about an app? I mean, if you look at my phone right now, it's on my desk. Uh, I got an app for about everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure Georgia Power has one. We, we do. We do. It's, a, it's an app we use to uh, you, any Georgia Power customer can go online. And which that's, that's, the, that's the way I've always paid is just use the app, go online. And it's very simple, you know, to make a payment, make a payment arrangement, uh, report an outage, uh, any number of things you can do with the Georgia Power app. What's the best part of your job? I think the people I get to meet, James, is, is the highlight of each day. Uh, I serve a 10 county area, and so I'm out every day meeting new people, uh, and I get to hear different experiences from, you know, all kinds of different people, and I find that, you know, reason to get up every morning. In the environment, uh, I know uh, we were talking about Jay earlier off camera, but when we had his retirement party, uh, his surprise party, I guess. I got to meet a lot of people with Georgia Power. I'm talking about uh, uh, regular people, up on down, up the food chain, a mm -hmm. lot of them. And they all uh, had such a positive attitude. You can tell the work environment at Georgia mm -hmm. Power is, uh, is incredible. Probably second to none, but uh, that says a lot about, and I know you were there, but do, could you feel the the mood in the room and the just um, uh, it's it struck it it struck a chord with me as I watched those people not only speaking but as we mixed and mingled in the mm -hmm. crowd. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, I mean, there's not enough I can say about about our culture at uh, Georgia Power Company. You know, we're each given uh, space to learn, grow, and um, with Jay's retirement, you know, that was a culmination of 40 years of relationships. Mm -hmm. And he was very highly respected. And so, you know, that, sh that showed through at that event. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of them traveled uh, oh. to get here. They didn't come across the street. No, sir. Uh, so it, it does. It's, it's, uh, it's incredible. Uh, uh, we have talked before about the storm center and, you know, uh, when our power goes out, first thing I do is I, I got it in my phone, call the power company, report the outage. But with Georgia Power, and I use it, uh, tell our viewers about being able to go online mm -hmm. and you can see where the power outage is. And it's not just during storms. I know... We had a power outage downtown, and uh, y'all running right trying to figure out what happened. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's a squirrel. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that little bitty it's squirrel, a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> causes all that havoc, don't it? But uh, explain to our viewers how you can go online and see uh, not only the power outages, but you can tell maybe an appropriate time what the deal is. Uh, share with us about that. Okay, uh, if if you do have the app. Uh, you can certainly go on and see uh, the latest information on that. But also, you you can set up within your account alerts, uh, and we tr we try to if we have a good contact number for our customers, we will send out periodic text uh, with updates. Um, you can always go to georgiapower uh, uh, dot com backslash outage, and you can pull up real time data with that as well or you know it if there's a street light out you know near your home you can use that same uh website to report a street light out uh, which is also a very simple process i was uh reading about the georgia power foundation tell me a little more about what that is oh sure uh the georgia power foundation is our uh non leg of the company 
and we do a lot of outreach, uh, a lot of donations to nonprofit organizations. So that is solely the uh, vehicle in which we're able to reach more nonprofits than we would normally. Okay, we're going to take another break. We'll come back and wrap things up. Stay with us. Quality products and installations since 1985. That's Four Seasons. We invite y'all to come down to Holy Smokes Barbecue, Dublin's fresh everyday barbecue source. 1100 Hillcrest Parkway, 272 Ribs. You can place your orders online, DublinBBQ.com. We're all about faith, family, and friends. And remember, life's too short to eat bad barbecue. We're so thankful for you, Dublin. You guys have been so good to us, and we just want to invite you guys just to come on and experience what we think good barbecue is. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to wrap things up here. I've been talking with Joey Barrett with uh, Georgia Power. What a great company. 130 years in Georgia, and you don't look 130, Joey, I'm telling you. Well, you know, that's the, yeah. that, that's the best compliment <laughs> I've had all day, James. Thank you. Uh, you keep yourself up good there, but uh, it is. Uh, it's a strong company, and you think 130 years uh, and just uh, – uh, and it's so important to y'all to not only be involved in the community, but help us save money on our power mm -hmm. bills. That's what you want to do. Uh, before we close, uh, y'all partner with teachers with the STEM program. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we actually have an organization at Georgia Power that that is their, that is their purpose. Their job is to go in, into our schools and teach STEM uh, ideas and different lessons on STEM projects. And we, we cover most every county in the state. Uh, you know, I'm not sure how, how many folks are in that organization, but I know in just the area I cover, I have three different people that are in the schools every day uh, giving back to the students. That's wonderful. Uh, you know, we got great schools. Uh, I don't care where you send your kids to school in Lawrence County. Uh, I mean, Clifford Garnto, Lawrence County Superintendent, Dr. Williams, uh, and um, Larry Collins, the new headmaster out at Trinity. Uh, we truly have school choice here. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and they're all good. They all have their good points. Some have a little more than the other one, but uh, you can send your child wherever you want to go. And, you know, when I think about Clifford and uh, uh, Dr. Williams, Dr. Williams on the Development Authority, mm -hmm. uh, community is important to them, not just doing their job as teachers or preachers or whatever, uh, but being involved in the community. And I see you everywhere. I'm talking about we're at, I won't say everything, <laughs> but we're at 99.99% .99 of the things. We got a, a big announcement tomorrow we're going to be at together. But... Uh, uh, but why is it, to you personally, forget Georgia Power and all that, but from you personally, uh, why is it important to be involved in the community? Well, uh, well, I live here now, and so it's important to me to, uh, you know, build good relationships in the community that I live, uh, get a better understanding of, you know, what's going on, what is there to do. Um, and so for me, being at these events, uh, and there are a lot, as you touched <laughs> on, uh, it, it also just kind of gives me an a opportunity to understand, you know, I, you know, I've had a many a situation where I'm at an event and there's a Georgia power issue that's brought to my attention that Normally wouldn't have came up, but now mm -hmm. since I'm in the community, I get to hear those, those things, and it helps us become better as a company. It is so important. It, it is. It's so important, and, and we can't be at everything. You know, there's no way. But, uh, but being involved and 
And if you're watching today, all of us, me, Joy, you, uh, let's leave this community better than we found it. You know, um, I love the Rotary Club's uh, mission, I guess, statement, but it's uh, service over self. Mm -hmm. And I always have loved that. Uh, and we have some great civic clubs here, and, and they pretty well do the same thing. They, they pour back into this community yes, through sir. scholarships and uh, assistance. But... Um, but get involved in your community. You don't have to go to everything because there's no way to do it. But uh, get involved in your church and the community, the PTA. Uh, get involved in the schools. And uh, we'll make them better because it takes all of us. Mm -hmm. It takes all of us. And, uh, Joy, I'm glad that uh, we got together. We've been trying to get together for a little while and both of our schedules and uh, back to what we said a while ago. You know, we got a lot going on. But... And I know you're busy. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with Oh, me. absolutely, James. It's my pleasure. Thank you, sir. And uh, we're going to have Joy back. We're going to keep you updated what's going on at Georgia Power. We'll try to save you some money. I know you'll like that part. So uh, and if you have any questions, uh, you can call the station. Uh, we'll be glad to help with that. We can relay them on to Joy, and I'll get you an answer. I probably won't know it, but I'll get you one. And like I said a while ago, uh, if you're watching us on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, uh, uh, the many platforms that we have now, I don't care how you're watching us, we really appreciate you tuning in today right here on TV 35.